Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'll be explaining how to create a task in Salesforce CRM. So once you log in Salesforce, of course, you'll come to the home screen. Now, in order to create a new task in Salesforce, what we need to do is go to the Tasks tab up the top here, press on Tasks, and then as you can see here, we will have our lists and our tasks on the right. To create a new one, use the drop-down arrow on the right-hand side here, press that, and then just press New Task. Now, once that happens, we'll be presented with the task pop-up window. From here, we need to give our task a subject. So there are a few options and we can search away, but obviously we want to personalize it. So if we search call, and then I'm just going to put test here. So that just makes things very quick and easy. Just our subject header for our task. Then we need to assign a task. Automatically, when you create a task, it's assigned to yourself. However, you can assign it to someone else if you just press that press the field and then search for the user inside of the Salesforce CRM system, find them and then you can assign it to though that particular user. Um, from here, you can then add a due date to a particular task. So press on the field and select the day that you'd like this task to be due. So I'm going to choose next week. And then once you come down here, we can assign contacts or connect this uh, this task to a contact and consequently an account if we so wish. You don't have to. If you're creating a task that's nothing to do with any particular contact or account, you don't have to fill this in. But this is a really good way of connecting the, um, the contacts and accounts to any particular task, just so you can see on the contact page uh, what tasks have been completed and what are associated with those particular records. So to do that, just press on the field and then you can search for contacts or add a new contact. And that is exactly the same for accounts as well. We've also got comments here. So if you want to write any comments about this particular task, just to update relative information, keep over, keep someone informed, etc., you can do. Um, and then down here we have additional information. So we can set our priority for this particular task. We have two options. We can select it to high or normal. So if it's high priority or normal priority, and then the status as well, whether this status, whether this task is open or has actually been completed, and you're just backdating the particular task. You can also set a reminder if you'd like to. You don't have to have a reminder. You can untick that box. But if you do have, do tick that box, you can set a reminder for when this task is due. It's automatically set on the same day you set the due date, if you do set a due date. Um, and But you can change that if you like. Just press the field. Maybe we'll set it to the day before, and then you can change the time accordingly as well. I'll leave that at 8 o'clock. And finally, we can create a recurring series of tasks. So if you'd like this task to happen again and again and again, what you need to do is just press this tick box here, and then we can set the frequency to where we like this task to be created daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, and then select every day, every other day, or custom. And then we can select the start date for the recurring task and consequently the end date for the recurring task. Uh, you can calculate the latest date as well, and this applies to daily, weekly, and monthly. And as you can see here, repeat every month when on specific days, and then day number one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to the 31st of that particular month. And then you can see the start date and end date there as well. I'm not going to have that on. However, once you've completed filling in the information, I'm just going to put in our comments test. Just press the save button. And that will have created a new task. So that is how to create a task in your Salesforce CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create a task in Salesforce CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.